This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay officially launches the first ever 3D printing design contest. All 3D printing enthusiasts can participate in both categories. Design a 3D model based on PCBWay's official mascot Ion or create your very own original character. For the best projects, I provided valuable prizes ranging from $200 to $500 plus certificates. You can submit your project from September 15th to November 10th, 2025. PCBWay has all the services you need to create your project at the best price. Hello, our function generator is a piece of electronic test equipment used to generate various types of electrical waveforms over a wide range of frequencies. It's an indispensable tool for anyone involved in, involved in electronics or electrical engineering for electronic design and testing. The most common waveforms produced, produced, produced a sine, square and triangular wave. A rectangular signal can be easily generated with discrete components, standard integrated circuits and microcontrollers, while for precise generation of sine and triangle waveforms a most often used specialized integrated circuits. Such is the case here, where the XR2206 specialized chip is used for this purpose, which although a bit outdated, performs its function perfectly. This is a chip kit for making a function generator that costs less than $5 total. The kit contains all the necessary parts as well as a circuit diagram and can be made in less than, a, than an hour. It also has an acrylic housing but in this case I will not use it and will make a larger case accordingly. Instead of, the, of these small onboard potentiometers, I will put standard potentiometers and instead these jumpers, I will mount switches on the front of the device. This is an assembled and tested module that I soldered in a very short time and it works flawlessly the first time I turn it on. Here is what this module looks like mounted in a larger housing with a clear and easy to understand front panel for, a, for easy operation. I replaced the jumpers with a switch for selecting the frequency range as well as a switch for selecting between a sine and triangle signal on the corresponding output. Of course there are also potentiometers from, for amplification, cores and fine-tuning of the generating, fre generating frequency. In short, the specification of this device uh, power supply from 9 to 12 volts, sine and triangle waves with amplitude of 0 to 3 volts and rectangular signal with an amplitude of 8 volts. Distortion and linearity of the signal are less than 1% up to 100 kHz. The device made in this way works great, but it has one big drawback, which is the inability to precisely adjust the frequency of the output signal. So I came up with the idea of using a device from one of my previous projects, which is actually a frequency meter on which we will be able to read the exact set output frequency. Like the previous kit, this device costs about $5 and consists only of an STM32 microcontroller and 8 digit 7 segment display. Thus the entire device will have professional features and will cost less than $10. Uh, the frequency meter is powered by 5V obtained uh, from 
the function generator power supply via 7805 linear voltage regulator. You can watch the frequency meter project in one of my previous videos at a given link. The frequency meter reads the rectangular shape of the signal most easily, so I will use this output from the generator. As I mentioned earlier, the generator rectangular signal has a constant amplitude of 8 volts, so I to adjust it to the level of the microcontroller, we simply use a small trimmer potentiometer in a voltage divider circuit. Here is a look inside both devices. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. If we have connected everything exactly according to the instruction, the device works immediately and the selected frequency is displayed on the display. Let me just remind you that the frequency reading is done every 500 milliseconds, so we have to wait a little while for an accurate reading. With the switch we select the range and with the coarse and fine potentiometer we precisely set the desired frequency. With the first potentiometer the amplitude of the sign signal is adjusted and it must not exceed 3 volts to avoid signal distortion. The amplitude of the rectangular signal is constant and is 8 volts, but here too we can set a potentiometer and regulate the Next, I will test the shape, amplitude and frequency of the output signals using an oscilloscope to ensure the complete functionality of the device.
and triangle signals. One other frequency. and 8 volt rectangular signal for example on 20 kilohertz or about 1 kilohertz And finally a short conclusion, this affordable and easy to build function generator delivers professional performance with sine, triangle and square waveforms, all while staying under a $10 budget, perfect for any electronics lab.